Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to Amsha Tech. We are in a uh, we are in we are creating a smart form step by step. Uh, in in this video, we will explore the second step of uh, creating the smart form. And in this video, uh, we have we will also summarize the things which we have done uh, in the first video of this series let's uh, uh, recap that one we have uh, discussed all the steps one by one uh, shortly um, and uh, we we come to know that the nine steps uh, we need to uh, do for the creation of a smart form and at the first step we did the requirement gathering uh, for the information display in a smart form we did and uh, is required requirement gathering of voucher display by using transition fb03 and we gather information of master information and the detailed information uh, we created a technical document uh, which is uh, showing here and we collected the uh, master information the main field were accounting document number company code fiscal year document date posting date reference key document uh, number and the currency key and for the detailed information we collected the technical information of uh, number of line item posting key accounting number amount and the debit credit indicator so now we have to verify the uh, all the fields by and by using the transition SC11 uh, for finalization our uh, our technical information uh, which we have uh, gathered in a, in this document so let's uh, go straight to the system uh, to the transition code SC11 we already know that the master information of financial watcher is, uh, is stored in the table BKPF so now let's uh, explore it now we have to verify all the uh, information we get in our technical uh, document uh, to the transition code SC11 now so the banner which is uh, uh, which is the accounting document number is present here accounting document number and after this company code BUTRS BUTRS is al also present here document date BLDAT BLDAT is also present here and posting date BUDAT BUDAT is also present here and X Bellner let's uh, find X Bellner if you don't uh, view any field you can find it here uh, by using control F and then paste the field name if it's present the system will automatically score to that uh, field so you can find that x bellner is uh, present in this table so uh, after this uh, the weirds currency key uh, field we have to find so control c and control f here it is so currency key the last field also uh, present directly into this uh, database table that is pkpf and uh, if you don't know uh, if you are creating a smartphone for any other transition or for any other information of SAP so you can uh, find the name of table by using the uh, google search or all the information of tables are easily available on the uh, internet so you can you can only follow this procedure by irrespective of any information of sap so let's verify the detail information of our financial watcher so the uh, let's uh, back to the sc11 and we know that the uh, detail information uh, you can find by using the uh, PSEC table so let's uh, write it down the main table name uh, in the technical document first 
PKPF check. So our master information is present in BKPF and our detailed information is present in BSAC table and all the fields we have verified by using the uh, transaction SC11. Now let's move on to the uh, step number two of our uh, journey. So let's move on. Here it is. So asking input parameters for the required information is our step two. Our user um, will uh, our user our user inform us that uh, he want to execute the report on these parameters these four parameters number one is company number two is watcher number number third is risk career and the one fourth one is watcher document type so let's write it down and uh, uh, to the technical document. input para number one is company number two is voucher number number three is Cisco year number fourth is voucher voucher slash document time So we have written down all the name of input parameter but we don't know what are the uh, technical uh, information of all these field. So uh, based on our previous information let's write it down the technical name of company. We know that BUTRS is the company code so we paste it down. And voucher number for voucher number we know that Belnar is a voucher number so write it down and fiscal year fiscal year is G J A H R control C and we also write it down so voucher document type uh, we don't have the voucher and document type information in our above uh, technical information uh, so we have to uh, we have to uh, find the voucher document type technical information from by using the uh, se 11 uh, transition code let's move on to the master table pkpf here we can find that the document type is present uh, here with the technical information blart so control c and control v for its technical name here it is so now we have all the technical information of our input parameters so let's move our step number three asking for the required layout to display so um, the most important thing for this step is to uh, have a layout in excel or any other uh, standard format like uh, ms word or any other uh, document uh, in uh, documented information so it is better to get the uh, layout for the required information um, and because you know after getting the layout and uh, you you can uh, ask uh, your developer to uh, make or to align all the information uh, in a smart form according to the layout so the next thing to ask uh, to the user that uh, how many number of uh, printing of that layout in a single page uh, he, uh, he required let's say he required the same layout uh, three times in a page so 
you have to maintain your smart form accordingly we will discuss and we will develop all the things uh, later uh, in this uh, series uh, so don't worry about anything and uh, uh, the uh, the third question you have to ask for uh, printing company logo either the user wants company logo on your watcher or not so then you can add image to your smartphone and the next thing uh, you want to remember remember that ask the time and date printing on the watcher because it is also very important to uh, printing the time and date on the watcher and the last but not least uh, ask for your user about the signatory authorities uh, either it required or not most of the companies follow the um, predefined uh, rule for signatures so uh, i think uh, they must supply you the uh, required signature authorities according to their need so uh, um, all the inform after getting all the information of uh, layout you can move to the step number 4 so uh, hope you learn something from this video if you like this video do click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more informative video and uh, more uh, video of this series so let's meet into the next video till then bye bye take care